I absolutely love the way alcohol inks look on vellum and on tracing paper. I love the fact that you can see right through them, but you still have that little bit of a color. What I don't like so much is working with them because the vellum doesn't want to stay down. The tracing paper usually rolls up on, on itself, but I really wanted that translucency. So let me show you what I figured out how to do. It all comes down to deli paper. Cheaper than vellum, easier to work with than tracing paper, and you still get that beautiful translucent effect. It's tough. You know, when you get the color on it, you can go ahead and stitch through it. You can paint on either side. It doesn't matter. And you can just get some beautiful, beautiful effects. Let me show you what I did. So do make sure whenever you're working with alcohol inks that you have uh, ventilation around you, have your windows open, have a fan going, because it's really, it's not good to be inhaling all those fumes. And I don't work with alcohol inks for hours at a time just because of that very thing. Uh, if you want to put a respirator on, that might be a little safer. You can go on either side. And I'm putting two pieces down so it will kind of start to transfer some of the, the ink to the bottom piece and it won't be a full coverage and that's okay. I think I'm going to work with some blues, a couple blues here and brownish something. And I'm going to be using just an expired credit card. You can use a, a palette knife, um, any kind of a flat surface thing. You can use a brush and I also use a blower sometimes, but for the first layer, I like to just get some color down. This is a really light blue. Now, it's not going to act the same way. It's going to act on um, something like Yupo paper. You're not going to always, sometimes I get a bloom, but not always. This is a really light blue. And I just kind of want to get color down. If you don't want these lines, you can go ahead and work in smaller sections and use uh, like a blow, an air blower. I'll use that in a minute. But really right now I just kind of wanted to get most of the color on. And I'm using the deli paper that has the fold in the middle because I figure if I'm going to use this as a page in a book, I can just go ahead and utilize that fold. But I tend to work small, so it doesn't matter to me. And I'm just going to get some other colors on there. And I'm just going to get my little blower. It's going to dry fast because it is sucking things in, but I'm okay with that. So I can come back in here with something else. And just get some layers of color happening. Because I'm usually, when I use deli paper, I'm usually cutting uh, something out of it so that I can stitch it onto some paper or making some tears and you know I, I'm, I'm not worried about having these different lines you can even be precise with the lines if you want it if you really want to try and get some bloom in there add some more you can layer it up sometimes your deli paper is going to get a hole in it I'm okay with that I'm okay with any of this stuff that's going to happen because it's just um, part of the art process this one's going to be a hot mess I'm okay with the hot mess I am absolutely okay with a hot mess. Sometimes you can go ahead and just fold it in half and get that kind of a smushy effect. But you got to work fast. Okay, that's already looking better. Look at that. And my bottom layer is getting some color on it too. I'm going to smush that down. I don't want my fingerprints in there. All right, look at that. That's going to be yummy as it dries. All right, so now I have my bottom layer, and let's play up this. This is pretty nice and strong when you want to stitch into it, which is always important for me because I do a lot of things with my needle and thread, or you can, you know, do the sewing machine. Let's add some green in here. And that time I'm going to get some bloom. Look at that. Again, it's going gonna, it's gonna to dry really fast. Uh, I don't normally add any extra alcohol on here. You certainly could. I'm going to 
just get some random kind of abstracty things happening. And you can just tilt it. Move the camera up a little bit and you can see things happening. Add a little more green in there because we can. <laughs> so this is wonderful if you want to just uh, glue it down or stitch it down over some text and kind of soften the look of the book text. I like to use this to make windows on a journal page. You can also use this to do the tear effect where you've got uh, the journal page, and then you've got the deli paper, the colored paper, and then you've got the, the page. So you can get all kinds of effects with that. And I think I'm going to kind of, and you can iron this if you want to afterwards. Okay, that was already starting to dry, so I'm going to get some sticky spots here. So we're just going to smooth that out again. Me and my greens, right? Me and my greens. So it's a super hot mess, and I'm okay with that. That's what. All right, let's get one more, and we'll see if I can be a little more precise. But, you know, it's me. It's probably not going to be super precise. All right. Well, my alcohol inks are pretty old, too, so I'm kind of trying to use them up so that I get the best effects from them. I don't worry about the lines if it wants to wrinkle up because it's just going to give the color, it's just going to sink into the page a little bit differently. I'm working on top of a glass cutting board right here and I love it because of course it cleans up really easily with just some alcohol. Let's add my brown. Once we get the color all the way over, then we can layer up without having to scrape as much color around. All right, and add the yellow. And some green. We're getting a few blooms, just a few, but I'm okay. If there's no more than that. A little bit of a bare spot there. Because I rarely use these as a full page, I'm not really that worried about getting them off to, getting all the color off to the, the sides. But you could be. It just depends on how you want to use them. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. Do you have any deli paper on hand that you could try this with? I don't feel quite as bad. I'm not using my expensive vellum. It's a lot easier to work with. And it's on these uh, glass boards, it sticks to the glass, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about it moving around. There we go. My hot mess in my colors. I'm just fine with that. Let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.